welcome to Here Big Girls. I'm Mom Taco. And I'm Luna, and welcome back to Chojin X Chapter 20. We're at 20. And 21. Yes, yes. we're going to react to both, <laughs> and then we should be completely caught up. Oh. <sighs> Uh, although I see Ishida dropping another chapter before we edited this. <laughs> probably. Probably. But it's likely. Yeah. We can do 2021 and check out what everybody's talking about, which exactly. is the best fun. Okay. So we left off. Azuma was like sushi. I mean, he yes, literally sushi-mi. was like yeah. in a million pieces. Yeah. He's not in a good place right now, <laughs> but I think he's going to be fine. Eventually, the question is just how. Right. So we know he's not a Chojin, but he is a something, or his daddy is a something, and he is a something. There is something sus going on. Okay. Could his daddy have done something to him without him knowing? Like maybe, maybe he is a Chojin? Because I mean, it's obvious that um, Azuma does not believe he's a Chojin. He believes he's a normal person who can do extraordinary things. But he has all these crazy powers that a normal human shouldn't have. Right. He excels at everything. He's strong. He can keep up fighting with other Chojin, or with Chojins, I should say. So, and we saw a flashback in a wheelchair. I wonder if he, his dad did something to him and he had to be in a wheelchair for a while. And after that, he became like the way he is now, the prodigy. Right. I was thinking that too. So it's possible that at some point Azuma was in a wheelchair, blah, 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 and and something changed. So maybe he has super healing powers or, but whatever, man, he is in pieces. Like there is not, let's just see how that happens. Meanwhile, Ellie is supposed to be alerting everybody if something suspicious is going on. And for the first time in Ellie's young life, she's literally doing nothing while somebody's getting pulverized in the strictest (laughs) sense of the word. I uh, I don't know. Maybe she's not noticing it, but she should get the tingle at least from Rurika. Right. Because it seemed like Rurika went into her um, like a chaos mode of some sort or some sort of powerful Mm -hmm. mode. Meanwhile, the Kraken dude tied up Tokyo, which lasted not at all. He beastified and immediately broke out of that, Mm -hmm. which I think clarifies to me why his bounty isn't as high as Rurika's because he's (laughs) clearly useless as a titan. Like his abilities are tying people up. Not a titan. Did I say titan again? Okay. (laughs) His abilities are looking scary, being able to tie people up with like wimpy ass tentacles and ordering pizza. The, and hot dogs, yep. ordering food. Clearly, he is an expert food orderer, which is why Ume keeps him around. <laughs> okay, we are we are on it. We know what's happening. Yes, and and there's an apothecary on the way, which might yes, which we're curious about if he's gonna patch up Azuma or if he's gonna do something else. He's there to recover Tokyo, as in mm. take him somewhere. But why mm-hmm. would they need an apothecary? Unless the apothecary is the one that makes the serums or they want to make more serums from Tokyo. Everybody wants Tokyo. We're going to find out. I don't get it. He's useless. He's a nice (laughs) guy. Thank goodness he's a nice guy. Well, let's uh, start reading chapter 20 then. Here we go. Okay. I have, I don't know what site you're looking at. I have like two completely black pages. Do you as well? Yeah. Okay. And then who's oh, the, okay. the Kraken dude? <laughs> it's like, ooh, and bits and pieces of Azuma, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. He's putting his coat on, rushing down, and he sees Rurika. And he's like, girl, I was, I left you alone for like 20 seconds, and you maimed this little kid. Jeez, look at the leftovers. That is horrific. Moon Beast, Chapter 20, Moon Beast. Okay, who's the Moon Beast? Is it the the creature that Chandra was worshipping with the god light? Like maybe? Well, she was the paper moon, right? The the children. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Hmm. (sighs) Look at Tokyo. (laughs) Wait, he he can fly? Here I go for real. Here I go. Okay, easy, just like that. I can't. I'm going to fall. He's so cute. Oops, he's fallen. 
Wings. Wings. Grow wings. wings. <laughs> Splat. Oh. Being a Trojan is amazing. He's seeing drops of blood. Not sure where it's coming from. The smell okay. of iron. It's blood. Who'd, Who'd you, you doing? Do <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no an idiot. <laughs> Such a sour mood. Her mask. Ume has a short temper when she hasn't got one on. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Kid just got a bad break. Oh, find a shovel. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> that smell. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate this. I hate this. Uh... I can't. It's not. It's not. It's not. It doesn't look like him, right? Oh, dear. Alcohol. Alcohol. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's two pieces. Ricardo, looks like the beast is loose. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm like pausing for a moment at this page because like I got to take this in. This is not good. Look at that face. Yeah, it's like the camera zooming in and I like how you drew mm -hmm. that. It's very interesting. Arika's so cool now. She's just like chilling back. All right, Tokyo went for it. Did Tokyo beastify on her? Yeah. Well, she kind of deserved it. He's been overcome with confusion. At this rate, he'll enter into a chaos state. I mean, she did kill his best friend. And uh, looks like he kicked right through her. Paper trip. Ooh, armor wings. He's unscathed. He has armor. You have trouble with armor, Chojin? I've got you covered. Let's see what he can do besides order food and uh, wrap people in tentacles. The, the dread, dread Chojin. Okay. okay, okay. Ricardo Terror. Good night, Papa. I take the form of that which you dread. Why does it look like Azuma dead? It because it is. That's what he that's what Tokyo is scared of most. Oh wow. The greater the fear, the more dreadful and powerful my form may be. Oh dear. Again, they want to keep him alive. Sorry, Ume, we almost lost our payout. Here comes the smoke. A little bit late there, Ellie. Mm-hmm. My butt. <laughs> Check on my butt. Who is that standing in front of the moon? Uh -huh. Is it Tokyo? No. That's the moon? No, it's the moon beast. Oh, okay. That was chapter 20. So, um, you still think Azuma's going to make it? I mean, it's looking rough, but he can't okay. be dead. He is I dead. Well, we, he is dead. Like, got to be dead. But Well, yeah. We'll see how permanent that is. But who is the moon beast? Is that the apothecary or is it someone else? Hmm. Next chapter? Next chapter. Chapter 21. A cloaker. I'm somehow, okay, I'm somehow like not as happy that we're catching up because now we have to wait. Now we have to wait. Yeah, that's, <sighs> that's the trouble. <laughs> Azuma. Okay, here we go. 
Dreams, Hope, Righteousness, Persistence, Fury, Justice, Aesthetics, Love, and a Buzzing Fly. Cho Jinar, bequeath of the form and power most becoming to them. And this is a fly. Which we've we've been speculating he's some sort of a bug, right? Mm -hmm. A particular type of worldview, a complex, as it were, should gives rise to a particular Chojin nature. Ooh. So we're being reminded that Azuma did take the injection, even though nothing happened. To yeah, some. Sort oh, of I'm excited. Those without okay. such a complex cannot become a Chojin. Here we go. Here we go. See, it's all coming back together. And oh, he is, the, is like the, the boy, the moon beast. He's the moon beast. This reminds me of the Iron Giant when the Iron Giant calls all his pieces back together. <laughs> so he was a Chojin all along, but he couldn't. He hadn't unleashed his power. Yeah, what? Well, yeah. Okay. The boy. must have had such a complex. I'm going back up to read that whole thing again. Dreams, hope, righteousness, persistence, fury, justice, aesthetics, love. Chojin are bequeathed the power and form most becoming to them. A particular type of worldview, a complex, as it were, gives rise to a particular Chojin nature. Some say that those without such a complex cannot become a Chojin. The boy must have had such a complex. Whew. Okay. Oh, that, uh, that, that does make sense to why Tokyo became a Chojin as well, because of his, com his inferiority complex. Hmm. He breaks out of his chains. There's another one. How do you want to handle this one, Ume? Oh, dang. That was quick. He's fast. A Chojin's abilities, especially a morph type chosen strength depends largely on their original capabilities. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. In other words, the boy yeah, has Oof. a certain knack for fighting. Yeah. She, I'm thinking Rika's goodbye. Gonna get yeah. Are you Higashi? Oh! <gasps> he just stuck his hand through Alley too. No. Wrong. Bad. However. Az Azuma. Ellie. And he kicked Tokyo. Oh, he's strong. Yeah, well, now Momo's on the team and she's the Momo. strongest officially. Yeah. And here goes Simon. Full buddy slam. So they're trying to get him back to his original form. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Damn. What kind of Chojin are you? A plane? Dang. Oh, he just took them all out. That's Azuma. Tokyo's the only one awake. Oh, but Azuma was just, so he turned into a Chojin. But if Azuma would never, for any reason, however, Tokyo, jolt. Fight me. The boy also lacks something monumentally important. Why? No, no. Oh. <laughs> Hate this. Hate this. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, we're screwed now. We we're cut up. We we have nowhere left to go.
What's wrong with us? Why, who's, why did you think this was such a good idea? <laughs> Don't blame this on me. <laughs> this is y'all on you. <laughs> oh, let's go to the subreddit. <laughs> oh. Do we want to look at 20 or 21? Uh, I think just 21. Okay. I need somebody to give me hope here. <laughs> Man, people have been talking about this for 13 days. I'm looking mm. at the chapter, uh, the chapter reaction first. Okay, I really do agree with Vlad the Transylvanian that until a corpse is visible, I'll doubt it'll be permanent. Alexander the Pretty, okay. This chapter had Azuma coming back to life. I'm guessing super regeneration is part of the generic Trojan power. Yeah, like I would be very careful thinking somebody's actually dead. I mean... Yeah, right now, considering they can regenerate, it's, uh, everyone's fine. Shiny Mango says, so he definitely had an inferiority complex. He always strives to get first place, but is never satisfied, guessing he's trying to satisfy it by beating everyone, but especially Tokyo, who became a Chojin before it. Still itching to know what kind of Chojin he is. He has a big cloak and chains. He can talk to a hyena, unless that was a figment of his imagination. (laughs) Uh, I don't think the chapter titles are anything to go by yet. There's also a title drop. Could happen. Either way, I'm excited. I mean, after all, there's still the no mask. And maybe everyone getting another raise, turning into a bigger bloodbath. A lot of speculation on what it means that his initial look was, you know, that he busted the chains. So a lot of, you know, what do those chains represent? What is he breaking? Mm. Unleashed? Is he free? Could it resent, represent him being shackled to Tokyo? Or a deep fear he needed to cut over? I really like um, this comment by Annie 2049. Uh, Talking about Ume, she was right. Azuma only came to test himself, not to save his friend. In which case, I mean, there's a lot of speculation here that he's going to be some kind of an anti-hero or that he's going to care more about his own abilities and proving himself. Where did you get the pillbuck analogy? Because I see someone on Reddit about talking it. Um, I think chapter one is when he was talking about how cool pillbugs were. Ah, okay. I mean, I feel like Azuma is definitely in a chaos mode and he has no, no ability to understand who Tokyo or Ellie is or anybody. Like he's just mm. completely out of it. Yeah, I think most of the speculation now is whether he's in a chaos state or not. But yeah, but apparently most people did assume that he would live. Speculation too about the characters being alive or dead. Do you think they're, I mean, is anybody dead? I mean, we just saw. No. 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 So what, okay, what would it take to kill a Chojin? Yeah, that's the interesting part, because if they can regenerate, do you have to, like, cut them down so much that they can never, or is there a sp- certain place you need to hit to kill I'm them? wondering. We did see a Chojin die early, early, early. The the uh, the no mask killed, I think, didn't he? He killed, like, that mm-hmm. guy that with the rubbery arms. I forgot his name. So the Chojins can die. So there's another thread on Reddit that speculates on what Azuma might be missing. Let's see. This faulty says, I think he lacks identity. It sort of feels like everything he knew was thrust on him by his father. And I think the fact his Chojin form has no face adds to that belief. Hmm. Which I think is an interesting take. There's another one uh, referencing the um, painting uh, by René Magritte. I don't know what it's called, but I'll, I'll I'll link it in the discussion box. But it's about it's two people, um, you know, with similar um, hat wrappings like Azuma, like a white, I don't know, sheet around their heads, and they're kissing, hmm. and uh, it looks very similar to like Azuma's Chojin um, form. And an interpretation of this painting is that two people who are close to each other don't really know each other at all, which could Mm. kind of reference the Tokyo Azuma 
dynamic, or maybe everyone in Azuma. I'll show you the painting. Oh, yeah, yeah, it really is. Here, look, here's the volume three cover art. I'll send it back to you. Let's see. So that's the, the moon beast. Yeah. I think a lot of people are like simping for Ricardo. And I got to say, yeah. I am too. <laughs> are you? Uh, is why? That like... No, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so like... Well, you're here. You might as well have some pizza. I don't know. He just seems very like he's the, at this point, the most inhuman looking and he seems the most human in a lot of ways. That's probably why. Mm. Right? I mean, he's just so relatable. Fair. Like he's as relatable as Tokyo is in that he just, you know, seems. Yeah. Seems normal. But who knows? He might be dead. Let's hope not. Well, you know, he would be the one to die, though. I mean, out of all of them, yeah, I would guess so. Theories about Azuma talking to the hyena. My theory is that hyena was a Trojan that transformed into one just like Nari turned into a snake. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what are the odds of, like, a random hyena walking around in the city, right? <laughs> okay. So... We know that Tokyo can talk to pigeons, right, mm -hmm. and communicate. And now Azuma is able to understand an animal. So Azuma, even then, was a Chojin, the powers. I mean, is it possible that he was able to? It is possible, but my guess is, like, why would a hyena be in the middle of the city? Well, because of the zoo escape. He must have been one of the, the uh, animals that was part of the zoo escape. Maybe, yeah. Palms Crake has two theories why Azumi could talk to hyenas. Number one, the part of him growing a sword could imply that he imitates the powers of the other Chojins. So in this case, speaking to the hyena, basically he's able to imitate the powers of the beast, to beast Chojins like Tokyo. Since he was jealous of Tokyo's powers, he subconsciously imitated the power of the beast Chojin. If we take the name Moon Beast into account, maybe he's also some kind of a beast Chojin. Maybe he's a special kind of beast that can speak to any animal. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah. Azuma speaks hyena. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a Raleigh Polly Chojin, though. Are you disappointed? I mean, he could, if he can imitate other Chojin powers, then he could be a Roly Polly when the time comes. Maybe. So now we got to figure out why what that was all about. So uh, what I'm getting from this is lots of simping for Ricardo and lots <laughs> of people like thinking Azuma is not a good dude, which kind of has been your yeah. thing all along. Mm -hmm. Well, but my theory was wrong. He, uh, I, it doesn't look like he, his daddy did anything to him. I don't know about that. What, I mean, what did he do? That, that you don't take a kid on a walk so far that the blisters in their feet are popping and take them to like a creepy abandoned. <laughs> Something is going on there. I know the daddy is still sus, but I don't think, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think the Ackerman theory holds up though, because he was able to transform into a children. Well, I guess this is it for us for now. I guess. I guess, yeah, we have to wait now. We have, we're back to uh, being at Ishida's mercy. And you're overjoyed, <laughs> clearly. Uh, All right. Are you still enjoying it? Yes, very much. I am too. Like, I'm really into it now. Like, it's incredibly exciting. And it's everything I hoped it would be, right? It's funny. Mm. It's got some heart. It's got at least three characters at this point that I'm intensely curious about and care about. And the art is amazing. The art is out of this world. It, the battle scenes, I've always struggled with those. Yeah. Well, yeah, he, he kind of jumps. He has a, a lot of big jumps in between certain scenes, I would say. There's, there's not a lot of smooth transitions happening sometimes. That makes it hard to follow along. Yeah. I love Tokyo, which really helps. Like, I like the main character, which is so unusual for me. 
I mean, yeah, he's a bit of a loser. Yeah, he's not, you know, yeah. He, but I, he's got so much heart. He's such a, he's just like wholesome and I don't know. I Like, I know he's going to hurt me. Like me experiencing his emotions is going to hurt me. Mm. Whereas Aaron Yeager, I just hated him from the moment he appeared on screen. And it was just really hard <laughs> going through a series where I couldn't stand the main character. So I'm really happy that at this point, I like the main character. I like the villains. Yeah, it's an interesting mix of personalities. Mm -hmm. What about you? Is it the mysteries or the characters or just the whole package? I think the whole package at this point. Yeah. But the mysteries do keep me coming back. I'm like, I want to know what happens. Already. Okay. We're just going to sit here. I'm just going to sit here and stare at the Reddit and <laughs> be confused. Well, oh. while you do that, I'd like to thank everyone for listening. Uh, we're finally caught up, so hopefully we can all enjoy the next chapter together. Uh, if you like this reaction, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you for chapter 22. Bye. Bye. Bye.